Welcome to this video where I'm going to sh quickly, that's the plan anyway, show you how I set up TechSoft 2D and I'm working with version 3 here. So let's get going straight away. I'm going to go to the start menu and I'm simply going to type in V3 and it's going to bring up the link to TechSoft Design V3 straight away. So I can, in this case, it's highlighted. I can press enter or of course I can click on it and we are good to go. There's our splash screen with our license. Let's just click on the screen there to get rid of that. Um, okay, so this is the default setup. What I don't like about this is the fact that we have got dots defining the grid. So I'm going to, um, first of all, uh, I'm going to go to gridlock, turn gridlock on first, and I'm going to right click on gridlock, and I'm going to change here the grid spacing to five millimeters. I'm going to tab that across and press five for the Y axis too. Let's make it so it's going to be lines, and I'm going to make this pale blue in color. I'm going to confirm that and then explain my logic. Okay, so first of all, I've turned on gridlock because that now means that as I draw lines on here, you can see how my cursor is going to actually snap to the grid. Um, if I was on gridlock, of course, it would still be snapping. In this case, let's right click to one millimeter step spacing. But for the most part, I want to work to the grid unless I want to go for that final resolution, of course. Um, and going for a five mil grid, means I've got that little bit more resolution to work with. Uh, I go with pale blue lines because I just find it easier to see the grid with pale blue lines. The pale blue doesn't distract from the rest of my drawing. Um, it's just easier on the eyes. There's two more things I'm just going to show you here and then this video is going to be done. Um, the uh, next thing is to have a look at radial lock. Now radial lock is really really important when we come to draw lines at angles but notice here how the radial lock is doing really weird things. It's already started to restrict the movement of my of my drawing line. So what I want to do is click uh, with a right mouse button again on radio lock to bring up the options and I want to make it so radio lock is only active on drawing lines and marquee rotation boxes. I'm also probably going to set that to 15 degrees as well because that now means when I start to draw it only starts to turn on radio lock once I start to draw and I've got this nice uh, 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, and 90 degree rotational snapping happening. Okay, let's press escape there so we stop drawing. Uh, the last thing just to show you here is uh, page setup. Uh, setup drawing a layout and in here the default size is a3 which i'm happy to go with but sometimes if you're drawing smaller objects it's nice to take that down to whoops not <laughs> down to a4 of course uh, that's a smaller size um and it just means that you know you've, you've you can kind of better visualize the size of object that you're drawing against an A4 page. Um, not so important that one for the most part. You'll find a whole bunch of other options like, uh, you know, scale and units uh, options in here as well in the setup drawing menu. Okay, well, that's it, the end of this video. Um, I hope you found it useful and I, I just suggest that you go through these setup options whenever you use 2D design just to get started and things should run more smoothly from there. Okay, take that. See you next time.